top of the morning to you mates. It's Brandon from the SAS Snack Food Appreciation Society along with my mate, Hugh Will Mahoney. Snack time palette. We're going all over the place. The UK tournament happened this year. We got a title change this weekend with old, uh, there you go, Pete Dunn taking yeah. out Tyler Bate, all five foot seven of them. And I tell you, but now you brought something crazy to the table. Went to the world market. You know when you go to the world market, you're always going to find something weird. Yeah, something from some far-flung corner of the world. And I mean, I tell you, I like fish and chips. I like it. But this, sir, explain. This is from the Great British Crisp Company. Uh, they had three <laughs> flavors. This was the most appealing looking. The other one being a British breakfast and there was a curry one of some sort. <laughs> this is rich in history and rich in taste. Ooh. It is simply... Simply. Fish and chips. Simply fish and chips. That's right. If you open up this bag and it smells like some fish, I'm going to be scarred. All right, so we are part of Warren's Bakery. Who's Warren? Okay. Uh, which has uh, produced potato snacks since 1860. Our Cornish potatoes are renowned for their quality, and every crisp is sliced carefully to ensure a perfect crunch. To create our great British flavors, we hand cook small batches in sunflower oil and season them with Britain's finest natural ingredients, including mineral-rich Cornish sea salt. They're all about the Cornishness here. Okay, and they are at Brit Crisp on at Great Brit Crisp on Twitter. Yeah. I like that handle. I don't know, man. You got me wondering here. It's made in the UK. It's got the little sticker on it, so we can't see what their uh, okay. nutrition value is. So it, it is a true, authentic UK item. It's not just front and import, if you will. Okay. How's it smell? Does it smell like fish oil? A little bit, but mostly just like potato chips. Yeah, potato chips scent overall. Yeah. Now let's see what they look like here. Looks like regular potato chips to me. Let's see. Put that back up there with Lemmy, our newest part of the Snack Society set decoration. Yeah, I mean, this looks like some regular potato chips. Oh, no, there's fish there. Ooh, yeah, yeah. wow. I... Now that's out of the bag if you're right up in there. Ooh, yeah, and it's not pleasant smelling. It's greasy. Yes. Any vinegar? No. Not present, but it could be in the, it, in in the taste, yeah. but not in the scent. They're, they're greasy to the touch, and they very much have a fish scent if you... Get right up in there. Okay, let's see. I don't know, man. <laughs> pip pip cheerio. Ooh. I'm not sure what that initial taste is. It's not it's like salt. Red or something. There's a weird initial flavor I get on the mm. tip of my tongue. But what is it? Whoa. I got kind of lemon at the end of that one. Which would be, you put lemon on the fish and chips. Yeah, you do. This is starting to taste straight up like a freaking uh, filet of fish. <laughs> There's some weird taste in there. I can't place it. I'm getting lemon on the finish, which I like. Mm. Um, I was a little weirded out about it. A little it vinegar there now. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Kind of vinegar malt kind of deal. I was half expecting to be spitting these out. I'm uh -huh. not spitting them out. I'm kind of intrigued. Yeah, they're really greasy. Mm -hmm. They're really greasy. But, I mean, a good fish and chips, you yeah. know. Hmm. And that actually compromises a little bit of its own crispiness. Right. Because it is crispy, but as you're chewing it, it doesn't stay crispy. It kind of meals down a Dissolves. little faster. Yeah. <laughs> um, Man. The fish thing is not pounding you over the head. No. It's, it's a there. hint of it, and it goes away pretty quick. Yeah. It, you taste that deep-fried breading. Uh-huh. Yeah. You taste that. And, of course, the french fry. Of course. Kind of deal. Exactly. The chips. And then a little bit of, like, salt and vinegar right. and what you were saying, mm -hmm. the lemon at the end. Yeah. But, I mean, I would eat these. I wouldn't go yeah. back and buy them for three fifty a bag. Yeah, I could pound them pretty good, and I'd be regretting it later because there's a lot of grease involved on these, and I think that's the biggest thing that's annoying me about them. My fingers have a nice little shine to them here. Um, they're not nasty. They're not horrible, but like I can't imagine wanting to get them again. Uh, so with that in mind right there, I'm going to go for the Great British Crisps Fish Chips Company. I'm going to go two-thirds. They're okay, but they need some work. Yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and say two-thirds. Why not? That sounds about right. We're on the same wavelength. Because they're not like something I would buy. Three, Basically, three-quarters and up is you would probably buy it again. Oh, yeah. Two-thirds is you would 
eat it. And we'll probably... eat something tonight while we're sitting yeah. here, but I don't need to taste it again. No, yeah. I mean, especially not for three fifty a bag. That's, and they're not nasty. That's kind of like highway robbery. Yeah. So you don't want to do that. I, I'm kind of kind of curious about that breakfast chip now. now I'm curious about the curry one. Maybe so we may have to revisit this company and see what's going on with them because this is interesting. Yeah. Definitely interesting. And you know what else is interesting is your comments. We love re reading them and responding to them and all that, so make sure you leave them down below. Also, uh, when you're down there, check out the link to our Facebook group, which is in the description, so you can join us and hundreds of the coolest people in the world who are in our group, and you should be too. Also, follow us on all the social medias, including the Instagram and the Twitters, at Brandon Rick SAS, at Hugh Mahoney, and at our ace photographer and director at a brick in the SAS. Yes, and when you do, you know what you need to do. You need to use hashtag Snack Society all day, every day for all your snacking needs. And I know particularly that on the Twitter machine, I have quite a few followers in the UK that I talk to. So I want to hear from you if you've had these Ooh. chips, if you've had these crisps. Give us the lowdown and tell us about those other flavors. Martin. There you go. There you yeah. go. Martin, I'm thinking of some people out on there who can tell us something about these. So I'm going to be asking. I'm going to be going on there because I want to find out more about these if we need to investigate this further. When you do that, you join that four horsemen of YouTube, baby. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. In the meantime, mm -hmm. in between time, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Mm. All right.